Hi guys, Josh Eng here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is about master title. You see what happened is that this agent is very much confused and very blur because the team manager talks about titles being freehold and leasehold and then the team leader tells him that titles are HSM and HSD and now this agent attends the class whereby the subject is about laws relating to property and the lecturer talks about master title, individual title, strata title. So things become more and more confusing for this estate agent. Here's a screenshot of the lecture that this agent has attended. Now you see here, the lecturer says in the land office, you have two types of title, final title, you have qualified title, and under final title, you have individual title as well as strata title. And over here, qualified title, you have master title, and you have PT number. So now the agent has become more confused and asked me, what is what? Okay? So for today's topic, I will try to highlight and clarify the matter. Actually, it's a very simple thing. My advice is don't get yourself confused over all this terminology. Okay? When you attend the classes, what you learn is only good for passing exam, getting top marks to pass the exam to get your estate agency license, whether to get your PEA probationary estate agency and then later on become a registered estate agent but bear in mind all these are all theory theories alone will not help you to make money or to become a successful agent okay if you want to become a real real estate agent you got to learn what happens in real life the reality the real things that happens okay so for today's this video i will clarify what is master title and what is individual title and how strata title come about also pt number now before i begin i would like to recommend that you go to my youtube channel and search for this video how many types of property titles do you know eh? Okay, here I explain to you the various type of property titles that are available in our country. And to help you understand and get more clarification on the types of titles, here is another video which I did four months ago on lot number and PT number. This will help you to erase the confusion from your mind okay uh, please check after watching this video please search for all these old, older videos of mine eh? okay here's a simple uh, what you call summary of what is a master title a master title you can say that it is just uh, a mother a mother title okay and a mother title you can then break it down into whether you are going to develop into landed properties or into high-rise properties okay now a landed property can mean your usual terrace houses semi d or bungalows and it can also mean homestead lots yes homestead lots and also townhouses okay for high-rise it means Soho, Sowo, residential apartments, Roma Whip, Roma Mampu, Mile, Prima, Satu Malaysia, and all those uh, uh, can be res anything that is high rise, residential, or commercial. Okay, now so you have an understanding a master title, it can be any title, types of title which is then developed into either a landed project or a high-rise project so this master title can 
admin and agriculture status title or a converted title okay converted title it can be to bangunan now what type of bangunan see the word here high rise so a bangunan can be a residential high rise can be a service apartment high rise it can be a flattered factory high rise yeah ah so that is the meaning eh? okay you can break it up into that so how does master title comes into the picture okay so basically a master title can mean any title eh? any lot number that it has it belongs to the either the landowner or belongs to the developer that owns the land or it belongs to the JV company uh, whereby the developer has a joint venture with the landowner okay now master title in a nutshell it means a piece of land that is going to be developed into either a landed project or a high-rise project so when it is for a landed project what happens usually if you are going to build semi d super link terrace houses and all this jazz it will then be subdivided further into individual titles okay individual titles now what happens is that some landed projects are gated and guarded projects with clubhouses with a playground with those uh, facilities sports facilities included so in this case here we have this thing called gated and guarded community sim whereby instead of individual titles they will then issue you with strata titles okay now the next thing is strata titles okay this is very common strata titles where you build a high-rise service apartment a condominium project service suites offices flattered factory retail lots so all this you will see strata titles being issued after the completion of the project huh? okay usually strata title the, uh, will be issued later on as you can read from here apply for separate strata title within three months upon the completion of the superstructure now what you can do is you can always google go to google and uh, search for this keyword master title okay then you can read more about what is the difference between a master title and individual title and also the strata title so basically there's nothing to be confused about a master title can be any title any lot number it can be an agriculture land where they want to stop the white doing landed homesteads one acre two acres agriculture homesteads uh, with orchard say in Bentong or in Raob or in Kara you know or in Cameron Highlands and then the stagger agriculture land homestead basis okay and it can also be a converted land into a bangunan or into industry whereby they build uh, normal terrace houses semi d houses or even uh, what you call these uh, terrace factories and it can also mean whereby the land is developed into a high-rise project high-rise condo high-rise service apartment high rise so ho so wo so for and also flattered factories high rise uh, and also so uh, what you call office uh, suites or retail lots okay uh, so do not get confused over this terminology master title individual title and strata title over here okay uh, that is not that uh, important for an estate agent now the question is this if you are an estate agent 
how are you going to identify whether that title is a master title or an individual title or a strata title actually it's very easy when the developer sells a pro, uh, what you call project based on strata titles what happens is that all the banks that is offering the end financing will then place a caveat on the master title and usually there will be many many names and multiple caveats on the title endorsement okay for example here is a title with multiple names multiple owners huh? uh, so if you look do a title search you will see all these are purchasers and all their respective banks that offer their term loan will then also place the caveat lodge a caveat on the title to protect the interest of their bank loans okay so if you do a title search and you find that there are many banks easily for high-rise projects of 300 units easily you're talking of two to three hundred caveats by the bank on the master lot title then you know you can confirm that it is a master title yeah? uh, because all these few hundred units of uh, what you call apartment service apartment soho sovo or whatever they call it all these buyers will then be going to get their bank loans from the various banks so all these various banks via the deed of assignment will then lodge a caveat to protect their rights and interests as the end financial so this is the way for you to identify whether it is a master title or not uh, uh, you go to do a title search you look at the endorsements page you check out the caveats placed by the banks or the financial institution so that is the best way to confirm okay usually this happens during the interim period or the temporary period say you're building a high rise it take about three over years to complete so during these three over years you will see that all the caveats will appear on the title the master title itself pending the issuance of the strata title okay so once the strata title is available then the master title will then be reworked because it will then be subdivided into all the separate parcel titles which will then be known as strata titles eh? uh, so the same concept works for gated and guarded projects okay whereby once it is completed all the what you call individual owners will then get their respective individual titles or strata title depending on the type of landed project it is so hope this video clarifies the confusion yeah uh, just remember this is how you can identify it Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to click like, click share, and also click subscribe. Thank you.